the room fell silent. Junpei, Clover, and Seven had been left behind. Uh. Clover looked down at her hand and traced with her finger the faint blue veins that crisscrossed them. <sighs> Seven shoved his arms into the front of his overalls and scratched his stomach. No one spoke. Silence made the air feel thick and oppressive. <sighs> Desperate for something, anything, to occupy his mind, Junpei walked to the larger of the two nine doors. He stood in front of it and looked at the red. It read, engaged. <sighs> He moved to the smaller door. The red, red vacant. God. The digital root of the remaining people was seven. Five plus four plus seven equals 16. One plus six equals seven. There was no possible way for them to open a door with nine on it. Junpei touched the surface of the door. June. He thought about June, about Akane Kurashiki. Was she safe? That was all that mattered to him. If she was alive, if she had escaped this horrible boat, that was what Junpei prayed for. Seven came up next to him. He pulled off his hat, scratched his head, and sighed. So, what do you want to do, Junpei? What do you mean, what do I want to do? What can we do? Seven opened his mouth to respond when... A noise echoed through the room. Someone was pounding on something vigorously. It wasn't mechanical. It, it was certainly human. Junpei and Seven looked at one another. What the hell is that? Shh, quiet! Culver motioned to Seven to be quiet. She put one finger on her lips and closed her eyes in concentration. Three of them listened, trying to determine where the sound was coming from. Where is it coming from? Could it be? Uh, hey, I think it's coming from this coffin. You're right. Let's open it. But how? What are those muscles for, for show? You're telling me to force it open? Just shut up and try! Junpei and Seven grabbed hold of the coffin. They tried to get a good grip with what little uh, purchase they could find and pulled with all their strength. Damn it! Man, it won't even budge. There was some sort of keypad attached to the coffin. Purpose would not have been difficult. Its purpose would not have been difficult to determine. Their eyes were almost immediately drawn to it. Not another one. Yeah, looks like it. Do you think we have to put in the right password or it won't open? I think so. The noise wasn't stopping. In fact, it was getting louder. Whoever or whatever's inside this thing wants out, and now. I know that, but how? <sighs> Without a passcode, I, I don't think there's much we can do. They couldn't even tell how many numbers the passcode needed to be. Isn't there a hint somewhere? 
Well, let's look for one. Unfortunately, there didn't seem to be anything near the coffin. Clover ran to examine the pews, and Seven investigated the desk, but they turned up nothing. There's nothing here! Not making this easy, are they? The sound still wouldn't stop. Six, I think, six pounds? Could that be it? Could it be six? Was it a noise that belonged in that room? <sighs> What's the passcode? What am I supposed to do? How can we figure it out? I need something. What? To be continued? What? What is this? Uh... Whoa! Okay. Okay. You have reached one ending. This game has multiple endings. In order to experience all the endings, you need to play through the game multiple times. Make sure to save your progress now to retain all information you've acquired. Memory of Escape has been added to the title screen. Memory of Escape enables you to replay the escape rooms you have completed. Yes. Um, save here. Oh. Access the flowchart or return to something or other. Wow. Let's just go back here. Let's see let's see the path that we've taken. So this is probably where we decided which door to go through. Is it like between seven and eight or something like that? Or six and seven? So we've already figured out how to escape these rooms, so I guess we don't have to do them again. There must be there must be other rooms to escape on the right side there. And then this is uh, between the other two doors that we could have picked from. So this must be in the uh, the hospital room. And then this is probably where we made that blind vote. I don't know what we decided to uh, to get this ending. Did I miss something? I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what we did to go down this path instead of this one. Weird. All right. So guys, that's the end of the first playthrough of nine nine nine. And I'm planning on getting all the endings, so what I'm going to have to do in the next video, I'm going to go back to this point. And I don't know, I'm going to have to try to figure out the best way to present this, because this is a bit strange. Never, I've never really done something like this before. What I usually do with story-based games is I'll play through one ending, and that will be that, even if there's multiple endings. It's up to other people to play through the game themselves, see the other ones, or, or whatever. I don't very often go through the multiple endings, so... 
I wonder if I'll be able to um, put like a list of videos that lead up to that point in the description, maybe. So you guys can like watch the previous things. To do like a, a com another like complete separate playthrough. It's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. Um, but yeah, so next time I'll, I'll go down um, this path. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. And I, I assume it probably changes some of these novel events as well, right? How many endings are there? One, two, three, four. There's five different endings, it looks like. That is so cool. This, this is probably the beginning again, right? Okay, I'm gonna go back. Um, this title screen, preview, memories of the escape. That is so cool, guys. Um, well, I'm gonna wrap up this, the playthrough here, the first playthrough, but this is not the end of the game. Just in case this is the only one you watch, thank you guys so much. This has been uh, just a great experience and it's been crazy. Popu a crazy popular series for my channel which is still very small if you did enjoy it please do tell uh your friends or whatever anyone that's into uh, let's plays about my channel feel free to of course subscribe and, and like videos it helps to spread the word about my channel and helps other people find my videos um you can uh, follow me on twitter at andrew erdeg that's e-r-d-e-g that's that's my name and you can check me out on Twitch. I do live stream on there, twitch.tv slash Also, if you have a couple bucks and you're really enjoying what I'm doing, um, do uh, donate at patreon.com slash Let's me play the newest stuff. It's That's how I got this game. Um, bought it with money from my awesome Patreon supporters and also people that support me on Twitch. Uh, every little bit matters. It also helps me to upgrade my equipment and uh, allows me to maybe one day live a dream and be able to do this uh, as a job. So thank you so much. Um, what an experience. I did not I did not see that ending coming and it looks like there's like completely different endings in the other branches. So I'm, cu I'm so curious to see what's gonna happen. And I can, you could see some little snippets of it in that in that video. Um, I really enjoyed the writing of this game. I really enjoyed the mystery. Um, the puzzles are pretty cool too. I, I struggled with a couple of them, but managed to figure them out eventually, just with some thought. Um, they're pretty clear on what to do. You just have to think about them a little bit differently than I was at certain times um, to figure them out. And uh, I am gonna play, It's I think it's Virtue's Last Reward is the next one. And then um, Zero Time Dilemma is the final in the series. So I'm gonna start uh, Virtue's Last Reward after I finish all the endings and all the possibilities for this one. So look out for that. That's it, this is uh, Luckless Lovelock signing off on the first playthrough of 999. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I love you all.